everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magical Jill, and today I'm going to be opening up Sailor Mars Glitter and Glamours. And she is super Sailor Mars. Oh. Uh-oh. We've you been might, we've been exposed. You might notice something a little bit different about me today. I turned into a man. Well, it's 2024. Anything <laughs> anything's possible, right? <laughs> I think the height would be the problem. But you wanted me to open this yeah. because you wanted to sit behind the camera today. Yeah, I wanted to sit behind the camera today because I didn't feel like putting on makeup for this yeah, video. Yeah, Jill didn't want to put in all that effort. No. So, so I made the prettier version of me to do this. We're going to be opening up Ray today. Yay. And we already brought her girlfriend, too. We did bring her girlfriend already. Isn't she cute? So this is version A of the Glitter and Glamour Super Sailor Mars. We're still waiting to see if they do Eternal. I don't think they have, have they? No, like, I don't no think announcement. they have. I really want Glitter and Glamour's Eternals of all of them, though, because I would buy every single one of them again in the Eternal version. Yeah, I'm not sure if these didn't sell the best or what, because Cosmos has been out forever, and it's been translated at this point. They don't call me Magical Shill for nothing, I tell you what. Got them. <laughs> <laughs> I always like the quality of these though. Like I said, this is version A. I always think that they're like, they've got a really pretty box. Like their presentation is good. For the price you pay for them, I feel like they're high enough quality that it's not a big deal. Like when there's flaws on it. One thing I will say is that before we even open Ray, and I think you showed this, but Minako does have like a little bit of glue marks on her like stomach. Yeah, but she's and still chest. perfect. Yeah, but she still looks great. So yeah. it's like, even when there are flaws, I don't think they're very apparent. I love um, that they look just like they just pulled out of the anime. Yeah, I think that they did a really good job with that. Um, but look at her in comparison to Venus. She looks so dull. Doesn't she? She's not as detailed. No. I, or I mean, she's not as, like, vibrant. No, she looks kind of dull in color. All right, well, I can't... I'm also having a hard time getting her specifically to stand up. Is it this foot? Oh, yeah, all the stands are trash. Well, this one is way bigger. Look at how much bigger Minika's stand is. Yeah. Well, like, all the other stands for all the other girls are, like, trash. You want me to help you get it on? No, I got it. It just... But it doesn't click or anything. No. It just sits there. Yeah. So something I wanted to say is that... We'll show a spin around, too. But she has a little curl in her hair, which I think is cool. I could see this part breaking because it's kind of brittle like mm -hmm. it's it's not very sturdy and the other thing i immediately noticed and there's some stuff you noticed too jill is that even though i like her and i think she's pretty and i'm glad that she was made this stand is terrible and i actually didn't notice that with the other ones like if you look at the difference between minako's stand and ray's stand minako's stand even stays on her foot when i left her right yeah ray's doesn't look at how tiny ray's is yeah it's kind of terrible so if i just compare these two this is half the size of the one for minako yeah and minako is in less of a dynamic pose so mm -hmm. she's already more likely like she already is just like straight down whereas mars you know ray she has like more of a distributed weight but her feet are so small that you need a stand. Yes. You know, like, it's not like you could just leave it like this. It will just fall. It reminds me of the shitty stands they gave for the, uh, one of the Sailor Moons that I had. Or the fig yards. Yeah. Remember those fig yards? the fig yards had horrible stands, too. It seems to be just like a recurring Sailor Moon issue. I know. It's really sad, isn't it? Oh, I know I have sweaty hands, and I didn't put this there, but there looks like there's, like, smudges or fingerprints on her hair in the coloring, and it just doesn't look like a flat color. And I'm kind of disappointed by it, as well as the fact that it looks like her skirt and the rest of her just aren't as vibrant as all of the other sailors that I have gotten. Because I have gotten every single one of the, the sailors for, mm -hmm. you know, this line in version A. And this is the only version A I'm actually not happy with the colors on. Yeah, and one thing I want to mention is you did look at the version Bs. I actually do think a lot of them match, like, some of those manga colors a little differently. At least their hair. You know, I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sure which one's supposed to be manga and which one's supposed to be, like, the 90s colors. Because they all look, like... It's all kind of confusing to me. Well, and to me, it looks to me like B is more the manga because it's got more of this purple, like, yeah. of her hair that you would see, like, back when they were printing these. Mm -hmm. These are the the comic book printings of the manga. But, but... Then, uh, then the Sailor Moons ones I got, I got the ones that specifically had lighter hair like the manga instead of the yellowy hair like the anime. 
Yeah, were those maybe version Bs that you got? It's possible that you didn't buy A for all of them. I don't know. Maybe I had to get version A for this one because it version B sold out or something. I guess we'll have to check because I don't remember. Because I, I don't remember which ones I was getting. I thought that I, I was getting like... I thought we got all the same. Yeah. That overall, like, I like her still. I can still see a little bit of a blue vibrance to her. If we never got another one, I would still be happy we had a Mars. Mm -hmm. You know, and she'd be part of the set and I'd be like, whatever, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But this one is one that I'm most probably disappointed with. I mean, she's got legs for days. Like they did oh, a yeah, good her job. Legs are beautiful. They did a good job on her legs. They did a good job on her skirt. But I feel like the red is a little bit more maroony than mm -hmm. than crimson. Yeah. And I feel like the colors are just more dull than the other ones. Yeah, it's way more dull, and it makes me sad because it looks like her hair was made out of a different material than Minako's. Look From... at Minako's hair compared to her. From the front, it certainly does. From the back up close, it doesn't. But I feel like part of that is just like the paint. Yeah. I kind of feel like the paint on this is lower quality. And yeah. I don't really know why. I kind of want to get the other version. Can we buy the other version? I'm sure we can find it. <laughs> I, you know, what What I was hoping for out of these, because I do like these, and I like them for the price point and the quality and stuff. If it just had a little bit more vibrant colors, there wasn't the smudges going on, and we didn't have, you know, the world's tiniest stand here, because apparently they ran out of plastic or something I guess so. in this country. They used it all on, like, messing up her hair in the back, I guess. If those weren't issues, I feel like she'd be just as good as all the others. Like, yeah, I feel like Minako is top tier, and then Ray is, like, bottom tier. I like Ray's proportions, though. Yeah, like, she looks perfect. She is beautiful. The, the way that she's made is gorgeous. It's yeah. just the paint. It's just the quality of how she turned out, but the design is really good. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because she is designed like all the other ones, like in a beautiful pose, with beautiful outfit, beautiful face. The face is always, always a 10 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. I just love the way that her eyes look. Even her face, though, does have some black specks on it. Like it She does. has one under her eye. I have never had one with a with just, like... Um, paint deformities on it before from one of these. It just seems like this one was like kind of a miss, like overall. Yeah, like, that's it's... weird. I have never had a glare but and glamours like that. You can only see it if you do this. So I mean, depending on how OCD you are, it'll bother you. It, it's I'm, I'm OCD with my toys in particular, not with much else. Her underwear are done well. Her underwear are done well. Let's show the camera. Oh yeah. Not a picture I expected to ever be online of me, but here we are. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like her. I, I guess I'm just a little disappointed. It's weird to me that we started and one of the first things I said is I'm usually very happy with the quality of these. Other people have talked about getting misprints and we haven't really had that. And we opened Usagi, Mako, Ami, Minako. Uh, Jupiter, I think. Yeah, that's Mako. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, um, I got confused. I, feel like, I was thinking about Minako and Mako being the same person. Well, I feel like we might have opened one more, but this is the final Inner Guardian we had to open. Oh, we yes. opened another of Usagi. Oh, yes. There's we opened two, two Usagi. Eternal and Super, yeah, I think. Yeah, because I wanted the one with her wings. Yeah. Bad, too. So, I guess I'm surprised that out of like six or seven of these we've opened, that this one is just meh. And yeah. now, now I'm a little worried because we still have Pluto... Chibiusa and um, Saturn, Saturn mm -hmm. you know, that we were going to open. So now I'm kind of like worried that one of those is going to be Did we open bad. Sailor Uranus already? Yeah, we said yeah. we opened Uranus and Neptune. Yeah, well. we did, and they were fine. Yeah. No issues. So I don't know. I guess I'm just a little disappointed by that. Mm -hmm. Still happy to have one. Like, if we could never find another one for a decent price, I'd be like, hey, at least we have her. Uh, but it's... It's like the worst paint why don't job. You, why don't you go get my my Sailor Moon one and show that she's supposed to be the manga colors though? Because I'm confused. Like doesn't she? Because she looks super vibrant. The Sailor Moon that I have. I can do that. They have pictures on some of these of like A and B. I think the problem is you were buying mixtures. Like I was. So A of of this Eternal Sailor Moon would be more of that golden color. Uh -huh. B is more of the manga ish pastel color. We yeah. got B. But yeah. then we got A for certain ones. Like, for example, Minako was an A. Mm -hmm. And then we got an A of Ray, right? Cosmo's yeah. attacking this door. Then we got an A of this Sailor Moon. Weird. So I think that what happened was when we were picking them out, you just picked whatever color you liked more in the picture. I also might have um, had to choose certain ones because they were sold out. Well, yeah, and one thing I remember is that some of them didn't have A and B. So Neptune didn't have, or sorry, Uranus didn't have an A and a B. Yeah. But Neptune did. Yeah, Ur isn't that weird? Uranus is just listed as one. See mm -hmm. here? And the difference is that if you look here, 
when they had an A and a B listed for purchase, they had it like this. Do you see the difference? Yeah. One has two and one has one. Mm -hmm. So I also feel like that was part of the problem, and that makes it so that these are technically part of the same set, though. Oh. Like, these are both A. But those aren't the same quality. I know, but I'm telling you that these two are both A. That's really odd. Even though they don't seem to match. Like, look. Look how fluorescent she looks on the box there. Like, here's Minako. Yeah. Here it says A. Mm -hmm. And then there's the two options. So confusing. I wish they hadn't done an A and a B. It's so confusing. It just seems like it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. And now Luna has pulled her way into the room. Jill, do you have anything else to say about this, though? It's like, I'm not mad. I'm just kind of disappointed. I, I, I'm like a parent. I would like to do a follow-up video when we get the other Sailor Mars, because I would like to get the B, the B version if we can, mm -hmm. and see if I'm happier with that one. Um, I just kind of think that some of the like color variations were a little unnecessary, and I do wish this Mars was a little bit less dull. I also wish my cats weren't so silly. Right, but, but I did manage to um, push the heel in more so it sits a little better. Yeah, and I mean, you know what? Even if I can't get the other version of her, I'm still happy I have a version of her. She's just know? the least impressive out of all of them. Which is really upsetting because Mars is like one of my favorites. I love Mars. But to be fair, to be fair, I say that about every single one of them. Yeah, they're all your favorites. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and <laughs> these two are your favorites too, so. Come yeah, here. Cosmo. Cosmo. Cosmo knocked over Mars. Well, he's so fat. He is. He is the fattest. So that's Cosmo. Do you, you guys show Luna? Do we review our cats? Yeah, let's review our cats real quick. Look how stinky he looks. That's right. And now let's show Luna. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like to be held. She's far tubbier than Luna in the show, I tell you what. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So anyway, I'm, I'm happy we got her, and I'm happy we reviewed her. I, I, Mars is great. I mean, he stop it. But I guess I just wish it was better. Yeah, I mean, I still am happy that we have it, and I love all of the sailors either way. And if Glitter and Glamour has made a Eternal line of all of them, I would totally buy it. Yeah, know? me too. I, I think and, that would be amazing. You know, at the very end of the day, the Sailor Moon ones that I got are my favorites out of, like, my favorite figures that out, out of all of the Glitter and Glamours that I've gotten, and those are perfect, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, I, it's just, I feel like there's a lot of missed opportunities with this line. Like, there's a lot of figures that never got done. There's a lot of weird decisions with the color palettes where, like, some people got a B, some got an A, some only got whatever they picked. Yeah. There's, like, none of the villains got anything. Some of them never got restocked for months and months and months. Yeah, and none of them got, um, like, like a lot of the side sailors never got anything. Like, you know, when yeah. you start getting into later seasons and you look at things like, um... I don't remember. I don't think Cosmos ever got one. No, I don't think she did. I know that like Aluminum Crow and all those, like the you know side villain type sailors, mm -hmm. they never got yeah, anything. The corrupted sailors. Yeah. Yeah, like which is weird. Galaxia. You would think they would at least do Sailor Galaxia with some of these, but yeah. maybe they just didn't want to do the villains. Well, it just things? seems like they stopped after Eternal. Yeah. Like the Eternal arc was like the the end, but they did no villains up to that. But they also didn't even do their Eternal costumes. No. They no. only did like the They're eternal costume, cost but they only did the eternal costume for Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of disappointing, but that's okay. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm meh. Meh. <laughs> I'm meh on it. I mean, at least we have really nice figures. I just want to, I want a different one of Mars. I feel like she could have been better. Well, at least on like the figure arts, they're not just going to break when they, you know. That's true. We've dropped it multiple times after taking it out of the box Because of Cosmo. Now, and it's been fine. So there you go. That's true. So let us know what you think in those comments down below. We have a lot of ways to help support this channel. One of them is actually our website, cosmobunny.shop. Now we make coasters, keychains, trays, and more over there out of recycled, repurposed comic book, manga, magazine, and more paper. We keep those things out of landfills. We turn them into something new and transformative. It's supposed to be the whole point of transformative art. So we Jill take them. Jill hand makes them all. Jill does hand make them They're all. They're one of a kind. I just help pick out some of the paper. So. Really appreciate you. We have a Fortnite code, all kinds of stuff that we'll have in the description, including use, other channels. Use code SAILOR in all caps to get 10% off my website. Absolutely. So, we'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. And as always, everybody. What's your outro? Oh, wait. That's not my outro. This is wrong channel. Wrong channel. I hope to see you all in the next video. And I hope you guys check out my other Sailor Moon videos and my Dragon Ball videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye! Why do you look like an idiot? That's just my normal operating procedure. Oh, okay.